guys. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update on uh, on how this wad is coming along so far. Uh, I'm on the third map out of the uh, out of the 12 that I'm looking to make. Um, this is obviously the one I showed you in the earlier videos, but uh, let's skip on ahead to the new map. This is rigged to death, as you can see there. Um, this is a uh, another dual map, uh, obviously, because the season one of this league, if it ever happens, is going to be 1v1. If not, I'm just going to release this wad to uh, to the public to play on the pub servers and Z Damon. But anyways, um, as you can see here, I put in some extra light details. Um, this is just a, a mid texture that I've changed the alpha value of to be transparent. So it actually looks like, uh, you know, light beaming down, which I think is a really cool effect, especially on such a dark and dreary level that I've kind of put together here. Um, obviously, from the name Rig to Death, this takes place on an oil rig. Uh, and if you can't tell from the giant drills off in the distance, uh, this is, well, this was the helicopter pad where, uh, you know, the rig workers would land to go to work. But it has now been adapted by me into the rocket launcher spawner. Uh, and then this is the uh, the main deck where, uh, you know, if the rig were moving, they'd be uh, watching it move. <laughs> um, this is one of the oil treatment rooms. Uh, there's a hidden little med pack here for you. And yes, that hurts you. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is the second oil treatment plant. And as you can see here, these windows are left uh, unbarred, like uh, these, unlike these back ones here. Uh, you can see the drill, and this drill off the side of uh, this vessel here, uh, the one that we'll be killing each other on. Uh, this is another shotgun spawn. Uh, this is the left hallway. Over here, of course, is the right hallway. Um, and this is the maintenance bridge, which is where you will find your SSG. Uh, I'm going to be going into a bit more detail about that. This is the, uh, the main room. This is the storage. As you can see, these are the barrels here, which are actually placed there for a reason, because let's say you're having a firefight right here, and uh, the enemy comes down from treatment plant one, and you happen to be right here. He's going to come in and go, blam, and you're going to take either serious damage or die. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, people realize that with this window being open, this isn't just here so that if you're coming this way, you can see them if they're on this bridge. The main thing here is the fact that, yes, you can go bank right in there, back up out, back in, out on the bridge back in. So, if you're really having an intense firefight, I mean, they could be running around wondering what the hell you're doing, and you're <laughs> you're deking them out on this bridge, and then you come in with your SSG and blow their face off. Um, also, I mean, depending on the server config, if, uh, you know, the public's playing this wad, if they allow jumping, you can go hop right through these windows. So there's a there's a lot of different little uh, strategic moves you can do here. Um, I know there's a lot of people that really don't like uh, jumping and stuff in multiplayer games, but uh, I mean I'm a I'm a classic doomer myself, but I I've also embraced the new school. Uh, it th it does have a lot of benefits. I mean you can't you can't be uh, snobby about you know which one's better. I mean they obviously both have their advantages and, di and disadvantages, and uh, I think. Uh, I think for what I'm trying to do, the new school setup is uh, definitely the way I want to go. Um, but you're probably wondering, what happens when you fall in the water? Well, being that we're, dri <laughs> we're, we're digging for oil on this rig here, um, I can tell you right now that uh, it, it, it's like BP was out here. So, you jump in this water, you're, you're toast. <laughs> Hoping you might, uh, might get a get a laugh out of that, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it is deep water, as you can see here, um, I'll even, I'll even show you, I'm gonna put God Mode on, just, uh, show you that, uh, <laughs> now, obviously, this is the end, this is the invisible wall, but you're not gonna make it this far, <laughs> 
And there's the uh, Hall of Mirror effect because, well, this sector doesn't have the deep water because this is just our drill. Same thing over here, of course. But like I said, you're not going to be making it to this area. But I, I think it's cool to show you um, what exactly specifically entails my map, whether it be things like that or not. But, um, yeah, so, as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty large, uh, large rig here, but I actually, uh, am aiming for, um, the effect of, uh, close quarters combat. Because, uh, I wanted to make it feel open with the windows and the skylights. As you can see, I placed them throughout the map. I really, I really like them in this room. I think, I think this room's beautiful. But, uh, you know, I'm not really, uh, expecting anyone to be just strictly checking out the scenery, uh, when they're playing, but, um, yeah, I really wanted to have the feeling of openness, but, uh, in reality, it's very close quarters, cramped combat. Um, this door here is actually, uh, two separate textures, um, the one on the left and right is the same. I've just adjusted the, the X offset. And then the center one is pretty much as is. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I think I've made some pretty decent progress with this map here. This is the main ramp. Um, obviously, with this floor texture here, this is this is the loading, well, was the loading ramp. That, uh, you know, they got these crates and barrels in here with. But, uh, you know, uh, like I said on uh, the description of some on the uh, other preview video, that uh, this wad's actually going to come with a text file that explains the story behind every map and uh, how it got to be the way it is and why you're killing each other on it. But that's it for map three. I'm uh, I'm contemplating what I'm going to do with map four, and I'm actually working on that at this very moment. But I wanted to create this video for you to uh, just give you another preview of how the progress is going. I'm also toying with the idea of um, of doing a live mapping session. Uh, just, I guess you guys give me some comments, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm just going to use uh, join.me. It's a free service provided by LogMeIn, which some of you may be familiar with. It's a uh, remote desktop software, but uh, I was thinking of using join.me to uh, host a live mapping session where I'll you can watch me work on this map, and at the same time, I'll probably be, you know, uh, giving you tips and stuff. So I guess just let me know what you would think, and um, I'll see if I can organize it. And uh, I hope you guys like the map. I'll see you back soon.